this is my updated version of a video I made early in the year explaining how to sync your HTC Droid Eris phone with Windows 7 and the HTC Sync software. Uh, I'm going to run through it again with uh, some updates to it that will make it a little bit easier for you to install it. And this should work for everybody on either version of Windows 7. Okay, the first thing that needs to be done is you have to make sure the HTC Sync program is not installed and that the drivers for the Android phone are not installed as well. So it's easy to know if you have the software for HTC Sync installed, so just make sure it's not installed. And if you had it installed, please make sure you go to your device manager, which I'll show you how to do in case you're new to this. You want to go to My Computer, which is located on your desktop. You want to right click and you want to hit Properties, which is right down the bottom of the menu. Once that opens, which you can see here, you want to go to Device Manager. Once that opens, you want to look at the Manager Properties. You don't want this ADB interface. You don't want that there. And you're going to right click on my on the pro, the device that's there, whatever it says. Doesn't have to say my HTC. It could say anything. Just right click and uninstall. Once you uninstall the driver, again make sure that the program is uninstalled. You don't want the program running. Now, once everything is uninstalled, the program and the driver restart the PC. Once the PC is restarted, go online and search for HTC Vista 64 or Vista 32 drivers. There's a couple of places that have them. Just make sure the drivers you're getting match the operating system. If you have Windows 7 64 or Windows 7 32, the Vista 64 or 32-bit drivers will work as long as it's the right version. So if you have a 32-bit Windows 7, make sure you use the Vista 32-bit drivers. If you have a 64-bit system, make sure you use the 64-bit drivers. It doesn't matter their Vista, it just matters that you have the right version of it, of the 64-bit or the 32-bit. Okay, once you have downloaded the drivers, what we're going to do is you're going to install the HTC Sync software. Once that's installed, you're probably going to get an error saying that it cannot find the proper drivers as it's installing. That's fine. Just say OK and let it continue. Once it's installed, you're going to go back and take those Vista drivers that you downloaded and you're going to put them into the HTC Sync folder that is in Program Files x86 or just program files depending once again on which version of Windows you have. Once you get into program files look for the HTC folder open that up and then just copy the Vista drivers right into there. Once that's done shut every, shut your you know your Windows down everything and then go to my computer again and you're gonna go to the ADB interface. Now when you open this you're gonna see probably Something totally different than HTC, my HTC, which is fine. Once you're at the driver, you want to right click and you want to update driver software. Now you're going to see a menu that's going to give you a couple options. You want to pick Browse My Computer for driver software. You click on that and now you're going to get here. When you want to go to Browse. When you browse, you want to browse to the HTC folder we just did. Okay, so you're going to look for it, and you're going to see HTC. Once you find HTC, which is right here, you're going to see HTC driver, and you're going to click on that, and hit OK. Once you hit OK, you hit Next. When you hit Next, it should automatically find a driver, start installing it, and when it's done installing, you should see My HTC here. Once it's My HTC, you're done. Hook up your phone, plug it in, and you should be right on target and that should be the easiest way to do it okay so if you have any questions leave some comments under the video and I'll get back to you as soon as I see the comments as soon as I can hope this helps enjoy your phone